Good morning, this is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today is April 9th, 2018. And I just want to share this information with you about the connection between Apollo, Apollyon, Abaddon, the destroyer. If we do a Google search on the these terms, we will see the link for example, in this first article here, it talks about Apollyon, the Greek name meaning destroyer, given in Revelation 9:11, the angel of the bottomless pit, also identified as the king of the demonic locust, locusts, described in Revelation 9:3 through 10. In one manuscript, instead of Apollyon, the text reads Apollo, the Greek god of death. Okay, so I don't have uh, enough time to go into the full, uh, the full study of this. I wanted to just give you this information. And then I wanted to let you know that on April 11th, April 11th, Let's see, what year was that? Uh, let's check here, hold on. Okay, it was 1970, the launch of Apollo 13 that ended in uh, disaster. Houston, we have a problem. And so we have April 11th connected to Apollo which is the destroyer Abaddon Apollyon and uh, anyway so here we have a connection to April 11th the destroyer transfer take place first stage second stage third stage and the instrument unit going to internal power T-minus 37 seconds, and our count continues to go well. We'll be looking for an ignition of those five first-stage engines at the T-minus 8.9 second mark. We've passed T-minus 30, T-minus 25 seconds, and counting, and Apollo 13 is go. T-minus 20 seconds, T-minus 20 seconds, and counting. 17, guidance release, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight. Ignition sequence has started. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. We have commit and we have liftoff at 2.13. The Saturn V building up to 7.6 million pounds of thrust and it has cleared the tower. It's another beauty. You know, I think the jet's quite on flight. The projector looks good. They're showing one half mile altitude at this time. 13 Houston, going 30 seconds. 